Oh, the big news, girls, is that it's beautiful. I basically filmed everything. I filmed both the warm up. This palette of Tarto. Good morning. Today is a bit of a hectic day, in the sense that I have several things to do, so I'll take you with me. First stop gym. 8 to 309. I'm late obviously, but I'm here. That's the important thing. Even if it's just half an hour, let's see what I can do. But I managed to do a super workout. I mean, in 40 minutes I managed to do a focus upper because you should know that this weekend I did the level 2 course of animal flow. They were two intense days, guys, really intense, where I basically did animal flow for eight hours straight and by the end of Saturday my knees were really bad, and by Sunday my elbows were devastating. In fact, when I say that I'm doing this training course, many of you write to me saying, Oh, I'd like to do it too. So, there is a difference between those who want to do it for fun and those who want to do it for fun. And then I don't recommend getting the animal flow certification because it's not fun. Also because there are all these tests and exams to pass. So it's a real certification. And it's also expensive. If you want to do it for passion, you can take courses and classes. Which I'm sure now that I'm at level 2. I don't have it yet. But when I'm at level 2 I'll start doing them on Bloomwell because I was waiting. You know I'm a bit of a precisionist. So when I want to do something I want to do it in the best possible way. And so I wanted to be certified at least on two levels and have even more knowledge. So my body went into chat mode for two days. On Monday and Tuesday, yesterday and the day before yesterday, I didn't live, I mean, on the couch, at home. So that means I spent four days at home, without really going out, and so today is like my day out of life where this morning I ran. I went straight to the gym and I did this workout. I basically filmed the whole thing. I filmed both the warm-up, this activation, I did these shoulder rotations. These exercises are perfect for strengthening the shoulder. Highly recommended, especially in the activation phase even without weights. And then I just included a leg exercise, since in animal flow I actually worked a lot of quadriceps, I said, go on, I'm going to do a little leg extension, working on, um, the back, the femoral muscles and, ah, uh, this is a circuit that is, semi-extended leg deadlifts, push-ups and then three or four abdominal exercises. I always try to include PHA circuits, so where I work different parts of the body in the same circuit. I feel great and it's a type of workout that really works for me and then I did these two exercises on the multi-power for the shoulders that were devastating, really devastating. Then I jumped in the shower and ran away because I did my hair removal maintenance session and now I came here downtown to run an errand and now I'm running away again because I'm going to lunch with my friends and osteopaths and so now I'm running away. Anyway, we'll talk about it later because there's something I have to tell you about training, siembre, etc. Um, but right now I'm afraid the audio isn't good enough and the conditions aren't good enough and I also have to run, so, let's go. Then I'll also tell you about this coat, in fact, I'll show you this coat. You know my problems are that I go from one thing to another. This is the coat, 
a coat that I just got and it's a cape coat. It's wonderful. I'm madly in love with this coat. It's not very warm because it's not padded, it doesn't have an inner lining and in fact I wear it with a sort of down jacket underneath. I have to find a slightly better one because this one is sporty, but this cape is beautiful. It's just my vibes and my style. Now I'm running because I have to be early, obviously now we're late. Oh, sorry. No, no, nice, we like it. First at 9, yes, because I came home in the afternoon. A bit boring where I worked on the computer, so a bit boring. But now I wanted to show you something, something cool, because Jimmy bought this which is a label printer. Yes, I mean if I'm a bit particular and Jimmy is my worthy companion. And so I started, we bought it because we wanted to, I mean we printed, a, uh, a message, a, uh, with a transparent background to stick on to make little gifts and so on and so now I thought of changing all the labels in my pantry. So I'll show you what I have in mind because it's a bit different. Okay, we're changing the look of this kitchen a bit. So let's say we started in 2016, like this scotch tape and a uh, marker okay then we did this upgrade with a pressure sensitive printer and it's not bad we like it it's not bad but now we've done this upgrade which is this transparent label with the writing on it in this font that i made on canva i really like it so now, uh, I've obviously changed them all, all of them, all of them. You know that there's a world of jars over there, so I'm starting to print everything. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, come on. Amazing. The only thing is that it only prints in black in theory. Now I have to study for a moment. Ah, uh, the ideal would be for this writing to be white, that is, those black elements with a bit of white writing on a black background, but when there's a white background in there it's beautiful, I really like the effect. And now I'm slowly changing everything a bit. I'm getting ready to go out. Tonight I'm at my agency's dinner. I joined the agency in May, after 10 years because I couldn't manage everything anymore. Between Bloomwell and my personal brand, I was really struggling and I was starting to make mistakes at work. So, I'm going to touch myself up. Christmas dinner, I always wear this at Christmas, one of the holidays. This dress comes out, velvet dress, high neck with these pearls. Very simple. And now I was starting to do my makeup. Let's say I already have a base from this morning, but I'm going to go over it because I wear makeup every morning. Even just to go out, to go to the gym, to work. I really like putting on makeup, giving myself a base, to even out my complexion, even if I don't do big things, I don't have big things to go out with. For me, wearing makeup used to be really simple, like, oh my gosh, no, do you want to hide? You don't accept yourself. Instead, I admit that especially thanks to Bloomwell, because we also have the beauty and makeup department, and to the girl who taught the course and the videos, I really learned to appreciate makeup as a way to enhance yourself, not to hide, but to enhance yourself, 
to simply like yourself more, which doesn't mean, it's very much like saying, that if you have a lot of pimples, I don't know why they popped up. Well, if you don't wear makeup, you don't like yourself. In fact, I look great with or without makeup, without it when I'm tanned, but let's say that it's a way to pamper yourself and like yourself a little more, and there's nothing wrong with doing certain things like putting on makeup to like yourself a little more. It's the same thing we do with exercise, right? I mean, we exercise, we do something because it benefits us mentally, physically and everything, but also to like ourselves a little more. We eat well, maybe we follow a diet, you know, because we want to like ourselves more. I mean everything we do is also going towards that and honestly. I know that we are now also in a world where you have to accept yourself for who you are. Yes, I'm definitely not saying that at all. But taking action for yourself also means accepting yourself, not turning yourself upside down, but doing little things to like yourself. Accept yourself a little more, you know. So all this to say that I have finally learned how to do my makeup a little bit. So now I've done very light things, I've done a little base with foundation and concealer, the powder that I've learned to love. I didn't even know about it and didn't even know it existed, but um I love it because it's really compact. Very basic now for the eyes even though I already have a little mascara and everything, but I absolutely wanted to try this Tarte palette that I just got. Kate, let me see here. You can't see it, okay. Oh, and then I have really long nails, so now I do all this stuff on the little packets. Okay, it doesn't catch fire, it catches it better here. It's beautiful from Sephora, it's actually a pack of three. And these are theoretically the colors in my palette. So this magenta purple and this color here that you can't see, this color here looks exactly the same to me as my dress. So I'm going to put a light base on my eyelid and then I'm going to try to do a makeup look by putting the darker part on the outside. Okay, I'm going to blend it by putting a light shade, so I'm going to go with this, mixing it with this glitter here in the center. I'm not doing any contouring, but it didn't change it. It doesn't inspire me, it doesn't give me anything. I'm using this which is a blush with highlighter that's also a bit brown and gives a bit of a scalp effect, but I only put it on my cheekbones and that's it. Oh, the big news, girls, is that I have a set of earrings that aren't gold. Yes, I did this test. Now I have this Rudum set and it's this complete earring here, halfway between the second earring and the first earring, all white. In short, I'm making a bit of a transition. I'm trying. I mean, I don't mind. Or rather, I've always taken what I've heard about myself for color harmony a bit with a grain of salt, I've said, okay. Then little by little I try things out, until I say, no, I don't like it, I won't do it. I mean, I put it on, so for now I'm still in the phase. Or rather, I've put on all the things that I say, okay, I actually look good in it. I definitely won't wear something just because it's in the palette, but I don't like it. I'm chatting now, but I'm actually late, so I'll finish this makeup.
So, I've already shown you this lipstick in the last few videos, if I'm not mistaken, and it's Black Hound Clinique with this limited edition pack. I added the lip pencil from House Labs, which is Lady Gaga's brand. It's called Mocha Latte, Mocha Matte, I call it Mocha Latte, I don't know why it's Mozo Latte. I've also become a big fan of makeup, of touching my lips. I mean, I really like touching my lips. And I actually do it now. No, no, not on normal days, but when I go out all the time. Makeup done. I don't know if this light makes long hair look good. Do you like it? Okay, I have to run.